Questions for Coach? Coach, it's been pretty rare to turn in history for a team to win first two games in a lopsided fashion like this. Um, what, what do you think about that going into a championship game where you won fairly easily? Uh, does that matter or do you just feel like that's exciting because you're just playing really well right now? I think it's just a sign of how we're playing. I don't think it's going to have a lot of bearing on tomorrow's game. You know, the fatigue part that people ask about, the energy part people ask about. The team is playing well tomorrow is not going to look tired. You know, the team that's not playing well tomorrow is probably going to look tired. And it could be either one of us. Same with the confidence, the energy, the emotion, all of those things that go into a, a tournament championship game. You know, one team's going to have those things and, and it's going to be a result of them playing well. But I think both teams go into it, both playing good basketball, and both are going to have plenty of confidence for a lot of different reasons. And, and so it's really going to come down to, to game time, I would think. Coach, it's kind of rare for a team to have three 1,000-point scores. Uh, just comment on the fact that you have three right now and possibly even the fourth if you look at next year's squad. Who's the fourth? I'm guessing Joe Young. I should better score some more points here in the next couple of games. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, it really helps, I think, the balance that we have offensively, without a doubt. You know, Keddy, who didn't play well in the first half, hit a big three in the second half again. Their teammates trusted her, Kristen and, and Maria, especially Maria, really carried us in that first half. Maria yesterday was solid, but she wasn't as dominant, so it just gives us a lot of flexibility. No one on our team feels like they have to go out there and individually win a game. It really allows them to, uh, to, to just trust each other and take some pressure off of one another. AJ, obviously a lot of similarities between this year and last year in terms of you guys playing in the championship game at, at home or uh, close to home. Uh, what are the differences? I mean, what can you point out? <coughs> is a little different as you face this challenge tomorrow. Um, than last year, you asked the right. uh, You know, it's just, it's a completely different team, even though we have so many players back. When you lose senior classes, it really changes the makeup of the team. So the challenge for us is with this group of seniors and, and this particular team to have the, just the right demeanor on the court tomorrow. Playing Oral Roberts, there's going to be ups and downs. They go on runs, we go on runs. Both teams, I think, are really spurty. And, and it's really going to, be important for us to be very even keeled like, with great emotion, but not become emotional. I think the first few times we played them, we've, we've become a little bit rattled with some turnovers, and it's led to some runs for them. So the big difference for us this year is the opponent and their style, and, and how they have a tendency to really rattle other teams. So we have to keep our composure tomorrow much better than we have earlier, and it's probably going to be more important than even last year. I think because of the style of the game. Coach, in, in, in a half of your first two games, you, you've given up only five field goals in, in, in each. Contest. What um, what do you like right now about the defense, and, and uh, where, where do you think that's maybe changed? Yeah, we're just really alert. Uh, from watching us play throughout the year, it seemed like it was more of a, a methodical defense where we reacted a lot to what other teams did, and now I think we anticipate a lot better. We help a lot better. We recover a lot better. Uh, we're not fouling nearly as much. If you look at the numbers, that's a huge, huge part of our defensive success. Teams aren't getting to the line nearly as much as they did in some of our poor losses. Just a combination of those. I think Jennifer in the lineup, Scott Luffel has been real solid for us too. Another defensive minded player starting the game really helps set the tone for that. Uh, and then to be quite honest with you, our perimeter players have, have been much better too. We got hurt this year on penetration tonight and, and yesterday. I thought we did really well against uh, penetration. So those things have been a big, big difference. Time for two more questions. Coach, uh, just talking about uh, as we compare it to, to last year, are you able to draw any of that experience into this, or is that whole thing overblown a little bit? Completely a different experience than it was last year. I think for the most part it's different. I think the advantage we have is the atmosphere. We know what it's like to play in the arena. We know what it's like to play on TV for that game. We know what it's like to have those kind of fans. So we can handle the emotion that maybe comes with things that we can't control. But in terms of on the floor, I don't know that last year helps us at all. Well, Roberts has been in the NCAA tournament a heck of a lot of times. You know, their staff knows what that's all about. Uh, this is not a new experience at all for their program. So it would be real hard for either one of us to look at each other and, and think we've got an advantage because of the past. Uh, it'll be about tomorrow's game. Aaron, you just finish up with this game. What about uh, Kevin Looper and the type of problems she's posed for you or poses for you tomorrow? Yeah, she's, she's a good player. That's what she poses, I guess. Um, you know, offensively she scores a lot of points, but it's really, I think, the defensive presence that she has, in, in my opinion. She really gets in passing lanes. She creates a lot of, of pressure. And there's, sometimes it's perceived pressure. She just seems like she's always there. She's never really on you, but every time you try and pass the ball, she's kind of instinctively in that passing lane. And uh, she just creates a, a lot of uh, a defensive, I think, problems for them. Offensively she's a good player. But you look at 
you know, she gets a lot of points in transition off her steals and things like that. So it's really, I think, the impact she has on that end of the floor. Okay, thanks, Coach.